What's up everybody, Quan here. We're gonna talk about Greg Glass and the CEO of CrossFit and everything that has happened so far. So according to the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation, they tweeted a tweet basically saying, racism is a public health issue. Greg Glassman trying to make a joke it looks like, commented with, it's Floyd 19, comparing, combining you know, the death, the murder of George Floyd with COVID-19, which have been two terrible things that happened this year um, with a whole host of things. As a black man, I have to say, when I saw this tweet, I was very disappointed. Um, I was trying to come on here and be a little nice about it, but I'm not going to be. This is not a joke. Um, the murder of innocent black people, is it, it, it's, not, it's not gonna keep going. The systematic oppression of my people is not gonna keep going. And I'm super disgusted at CrossFit for allowing their leader, their CEO and founder to say things like this. Um, and honestly, the fallout is deserved. I mean, I see Reebok left them. I see the Noble Project, amazing company, they left them. Um, all their major sponsors are leaving and a lot of the gyms across the country in one day changed their name. They took CrossFit out of their name. So this will probably be the death of CrossFit. And as a 10 slash 11 year fan, I'm such a fan that I even won tickets to a Watt on the Waves cruise, which was a CrossFit based cruise where I got to meet a lot of the stars like Brooke Wells and Rich Froning, a bunch of those other people, you know, Josh Bridges, all those people. Um, I got to spend a week with those guys, it was great. But I digress. Companies, you have to understand that this is not something that's just going to go away. And he's probably thinking to himself, oh, well, I was just making a joke. You, it, right now, we can't do that. There were people getting beaten in the streets recently. And a lot of your athletes are, are African-American. And the problem was, it wasn't just the tweet. It was the fact that there are, are allegedly some internal emails that show that CrossFit wasn't taking this issue seriously. There was no statement really released about it. Um, until after this issue started from what I understand I could be wrong correct me in the comments if I'm wrong also the black athletes a lot of them have come out before this even happened saying that they don't feel represented they don't feel that CrossFit cares about them and I'm tired of these sports organizations not caring about their athletes like yo man if you have African-American athletes or black athletes you got to speak up for them it's super simple and I'm not telling them to be PC and just put up a graphic but all it takes is just a statement. And if you don't even take the time to make a statement, it shows you don't care about your athletes. You don't care about your fans. So CrossFit, you know, rest in peace. It was cool, man. I loved watching you guys in college. I loved watching all the documentaries, all the movies. I hope somebody like Rogue takes over and starts at games. Cause honestly the name CrossFit no longer matters anyway. It was on the downturn for the last five years. Um, and all the people who love the sport, I hope the sport continues. I hope as I, as I get older, even I want to get in the sport at some point. Right now, I'm still into my physique, bodybuilding, and running, but I'm always going to be a fan of the sport that was formerly named CrossFit. So to Greg Glassman, man, I see you've issued an apology very recently. Hey, man, I understand where you're coming from, um, but this is just too sensitive of a time. I don't like living in a sensitive world either, but we have to adapt to the world around us right now, and we have to change the things that we can. And right now, I'd rather focus in on ending systemic racism than sensitivity. So... I want us to work on that. Thanks for watching, guys. Super quick reaction. I'm disappointed in you, um, Glassman. I'm disappointed in you, CrossFit. I'm disappointed in Dave Castro for not saying anything. I used to think Dave Castro was cool, but now he just sounds like another, another person that we only matter to when it matters to their bank accounts. Yeah, and even Greg Glassman, he's had a day and a half to come out. He, he just now saying he's sorry because, why? Because his whole empire just ended. We shouldn't be something that my people shouldn't be something that you only care about when it affects your pockets. NFL, CrossFit. We should, you should, we should matter to you regardless. But hey, I'm just a trainer. I'm just a guy. I'm a, but I am a strong black man, and I don't like cancel culture. But today, I gotta say, rest in peace, CrossFit.